I want to call attention to the obvious expected reality the day after the presidential election. We on the left accept the results that Donald Trump won. Hey, MAGA, see how it's done. Trump won this election. I can admit that I have been saying for months the difference is going to be if Kamala Harris loses barring <clears throat> actual evidence to, to the country, we are going to come in and we are going to say, I wish it were different. I didn't vote for the guy, but Trump won. I believe that Trump back in office is a huge mistake. The uh, consequences are potentially disastrous, but Kamala Harris lost. It would be wrong to do anything to try to force her into office, even though she lost the way that Trump and his followers tried to do when Trump lost in 2020. This is a critical difference between left and right. Uh, we were joking. We're going to find out on Election Day. Does Trump win or was it rigged? And of course, Trump and his followers spent years spreading conspiracy theories about rigged elections and fraud and stolen votes and all of that. And here we are. We accept that Trump won because that's how democracy works. It's exactly what he and his supporters refused to do when he lost in 2020. For four years, Trump and MAGA have worked to delegitimize elections, insisting they won in 2020. Trump arguing that he should be president anyway when he lost in 2020. And now the American people have had their say. Tens of millions of Americans want the wannabe dictator. That's the reality. And we're not going out and rioting in the streets. We're not storming government buildings. We're not sending angry mobs to harass election officials or coming up with slates of fake electors. We're disappointed, but we can be vocal and disappointed and respect the process. And MAGA didn't do it in 2020. Now, there is another side to this. There is another side to this. I'm already getting the threats. I have people writing to me saying, David, you, you've got to get it. You should leave the country because now you are the target and everybody that does what you do are going to be the target. Uh, I can only hope that Donald Trump's win doesn't embolden their side to try to come and do whatever it is that some of my viewers are worried they might try to do. And similarly, just because we accept the results doesn't mean we're OK with everything that comes next. Marco Rubio, you'll see later in the show, is now arguing Trump has a mandate to do whatever the hell he wants because of a landslide victory. He is going to have I mean, listen, he can do executive orders, but just because we accept the results, because that's what we do in a democratic country, doesn't mean we say, have at it, Haas, do whatever the hell you want to do. Democracy means we accept the wins, we accept the losses, the stakes are very high. So they won this one. I think a lot of them have no clue what they voted for. Many of them have ethical and moral compasses that are completely broken or backwards. They may regret it, but they voted. And we have to stand by that. We're not going to the Capitol on January 6th to riot. We're not demanding that they check uh, whether sandwiches were brought in that don't correlate to the number of votes or whether bamboo fibers from China suggest that the ballots were flown in from overseas. We're not doing any of that. On the other hand, Donald Trump has still not accepted the 2016 popular vote results. Still, it's been eight years. He has still not accepted any of the 2020 results. There are differences here. And as I get into the next topic, which is going to be a difficult one, I think it's critical to remember that there is a difference and we do have the moral high ground here. Now, with that being said, I have to have a difficult conversation with you. 
In a recent interview before the election, Trump said that he didn't think his supporters would cause problems after the election, but that the left would saying the left is the enemy from within and might be needed to be handled by the National Guard. The Washington Times reported this interview with the headline Trump says no chaos from his supporters this election day, which totally whitewashes and sane washes what Trump actually said. Luckily, we have ground news, the app and website that provides context on every story like for this Trump interview. Ground News provides more context, like Trump's defense secretary said, we should believe Trump when he says he wants to use the military against Americans because that's what he wanted to do during the unrest in the summer of 2020. That's why Ground News is so valuable. Our sponsor, Ground News, is an independent, nonpartisan news analysis tool dedicated to exposing the hidden agendas that influence the news you consume. Ground News has features designed to expose the narratives that circulate in biased media bubbles, and it'll even show you your own media blind spots. We all have them so that you can understand every story from every angle. Go to ground.news slash Pacman to get a massive 50 percent discount off the same unlimited access vantage plan that I use. The link is in the description or scan the QR code.